All right, so I'm back at the fan storage. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not really going to be bringing anything over here. More so, I'm going to be pulling a few fans out to use in the classroom that I'm going to be in at the school that I work at. The room is pretty big, and it's one that gets very hot as the buildings from the early it's from the early 1900s, and there's no AC. The room I was in before had something that blew air into the room at least. It was like a big vent thingy. So it's kind of like something like one of those things over there that actually blows cold air, but the one in the school actually doesn't. That's the AC they have for the storage unit, but something similar, but just it doesn't blow any cold air. It just pulls in air from outside and blows it in. The room that I'm in does not have anything like that, unfortunately. So for that being said, I am going to be pulling out at least a good... Three or four fans from here, I think, that are actually in the unit. Um, I could actually end up swapping out some of the fans I'm using now at the house. And, like, um, I'm not sure. But. Now, the problem with the classroom that I'm in is that it doesn't have anything that brings air from outside in to it. So a lot of the classrooms in that school, since it's an old building and it doesn't have AC, they have something that's similar to like an air conditioner set up like that, where they pull out air and disperse it. But the only thing those ones do is they just pull out the air from outside and bring it into the building. So they kind of just like push the air into the classroom. So they actually aren't air conditioners, they're just air ventilators in a sense. But since our room doesn't have one, I'm gonna be bringing quite a few fans there, as I have mentioned. The teacher is giving me the okay to bring like a good amount of fans in there. I told her I do not worry about bringing any or buying one that I would take care of it. So, and I figured I'd do that so I can give some of the fans in this unit some use. And by that I mean the portable ones. So yeah, let me go ahead and pull out the few that I'm gonna be bringing with me and then I'll pick it up from there. So the first fan that's gonna be coming with me is the Windmere pedestal. That's the one that was in my grandmother's basement. There's the model for it there and the stand for it right there. I've been meaning to reveal this fan in a new fan video for quite some time. Um, as I ha did re recover all the fans from my grandmother's house. Both the ceiling fans and the portable ones. I just need to reveal them. But, um, including the antique one that was there. Which is on that back shelf there in the middle of the homes and uh, citation. The... So, um, yeah, so I'm going to bring this one with me because it's, a good, it'll be a good one to have up front in the classroom to cool down the students. Because even in the wintertime, we use the fans because that building gets very hot with the heat as they had the old radiators and such. So I'm going to be bringing this one. And it's definitely another box fan that's up there I'm going to be bringing. Now, what I'm going to be doing is checking which one's quieter and such. I might, I was mentioning that I was going to bring the Lakewood, the one that's underneath the Wacko fan there, the new box one and such, but um, I'm honestly debating do I want to bring that one since it's such, those are childhood fans for me and I, I'm actually now on the fence of whether I want to risk it getting damaged in the classroom or not, but they're not too hard to find, but who knows, but I've always kind of wanted to have one of those in my own class, in a classroom that I working in the future anyway, so I figured it'd be a good one to bring and such, so um, yeah but that's the next one I'm going to try to pull out so, yeah and as for the portables over here, I'm not too sure if I'd bring any if I was to bring any other ones that I don't think it would be here, it would be the ones I already have at the house, like the Honeywell guest fan and such, maybe if I don't bring the last go back to the classroom, I'm I was thinking of the Panasonic, but I probably wouldn't bring that because that's one that I really like, the black and gray one. Um, even the Hampton Bay table fan I wouldn't bring because that's something I want to I'd rather keep at home. The last call I've been also thinking of the table fan is replacing that with a newer Hampton Bay table fan, the ones that they sell at Home Depot now. Just to, if in case one of them gets damaged, it'd be like something like that. Whereas the box fan is like more durable, so I'm not so worried about that. And I know someone's going to say, oh, I'm bringing one of the, like the Eskimo. I, I'm not bringing any fan to the school that has metal blades, so 
no. The middle school and knowing the kids, are, they obviously would try to. But I just rather not have, plus it's loud. I, I don't want to have too, too many fans that are loud in the room, so that's why I'm going to grab one of the Wakewoods. I'm thinking of maybe grabbing both of the Wakewoods and have the gray one and the brown one, but I'd rather bring the gray one because those are, I feel, more common and such. But I do see them occasionally, so... In worst case scenario, I could always buy another one from another collector. This one got damaged somewhat. I'd still keep it, but... Like, if I need to get parts for it or... Anything, but... it's an, I'd rather give that fan use because it's a childhood fan of mine. And such. And run it, have it in the classroom with the Wasco Box fan as... That was what I had with it as a kid. It's a... 2000s... Early 2000s era Wasco Box fan. So, it'd be kind of nice to have it running with a newer version of that. So... Yeah, so let me go ahead and put the get the wind mirror onto the dolly and then I'm gonna go and dig into the storage unit to grab the lakewood. So um yep, I'll pick it up in a little bit. Alright, so I'm in the middle portion of the the storage unit. I'm on the um the three step step stool that I got from my grandmother's place and now I'm just gonna try to get that lakewood out. Um I'm just gonna move these out of the way or just move like one of them that way I can move the last box on the top over here and that way I can lift it up easily without having to try to pull it out and have that last fall on top of the other wake one underneath it. So yep, let me go ahead and do that. Alright, so I grabbed the wake one and brought it out of the storage unit. Um, it's definitely kind of a pain to get it out because I didn't want to move too much stuff out of the way, but yeah, I mean, the slot, a few of the slots broke off, like maybe one, this one, now one that's only because I forgot that the wake would be well, but it actually has those little peg stands and such still. Um, yeah, this one definitely could use a cleaning. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit rusted inside, but it's really not that noticeable and that, you know, kind of thing. I doubt it's be noticeable i do remember that one bullet there's a little bit chipped and that's kind of the other reason why i figured i may bring this one because it's not like it was in pristine condition to begin with and if anything i figured i'd be bringing one in it's a little bit more it still like it looks good for its age but also not in a pristine condition definitely going to clean off the grills and start to take them off and wash them down in the shower as they definitely need to be cleaned off and if anything i'll probably oil it as well but, yeah. That has the old Marco motor and there's the tag for it. There's all the information. Um, yeah, like if I was, I find them occasionally on Marketplace. You know I mean, I know collectors find these, so if, worst case scenario, if this one got a little bit damaged or too rough of a shape for my liking, like, obviously I still use it as a classroom fan, but like, for a collection one, I, I definitely would like to find one that's in better shape. At, and so it was more so at the, I mean, I bought it because one is from Tori, and I know I always, he's a trustable, trustworthy person to buy portable fans from, but uh, the other thing is, is like, I was really desperate to find one at the time too, and such. I know I can find one at a fifth store at some point too, but if I really wanted one, and I wouldn't, it wouldn't be hard to find another one. Like, they're definitely out there. So, but this one, I feel, since it's such a sentimental one, I might as well give it some use. And, that's, and I can actually see it every day too. It, well, except for Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, so I got the two fans I'm pulling out of here. Um, yeah, um, let me go ahead and move, move the bins back in there and such. And then I'll um, pick it up next time. But yeah, let me go ahead and bring them in and then I'll walk up the storage unit and, I'll, and then I'll cut it from there. 
All right, so I got the last wig rolled out, but before I show it, I figured I'd explain why I'm not bringing these fans or any of them. So this one, I don't like the handle it has and such. Basically the type that this fellow over here would use, the Galaxy, which I don't like. Plus, and the Galaxy right here, that one's just a very rare one, so I don't want to bring that. The Honeywell, I plan to use it for something else. Same, that one's new in box, so I don't want to use that. Eskimo has metal blades, so that's already a no for me, especially in school, just for safety. And it's just super loud. Such. The wake one underneath it, it's an older brown one from like the late 80s or and such. It's smaller, but it's in a more rough shape, a little bit more rusted, I from what I can remember. But I think I just used the gray one just for the heck of it. Wake one underneath is, um, this older I'd rather preserve keep that one the one on top is the one I found outside a while ago that one the motor was more stiff so I'd rather leave that here the one underneath that fan um I'd rather keep because it's one it's nice but also it's in a metal bladed one so that's another reason why I'm not bringing it antique one obviously for obviously it's too it's, that's a hazard in it's cool citation super noisy that lake would up there I'd rather keep not risk getting damaged. Same thing with the wake one underneath it with the that metal box fan with the stand, the tiny one. The home with Blizzard, I actually could end up bringing in later on. I'm not sure yet. That frigid up there, I mean, that's quiet, but it's such a rare fan from like the mid 70s that I'd rather not bring to a school. That brown wake one there was one of my mom's room uh, for a lot of season. I'd rather keep that at home, but also. It was making a smoking smell occasionally, so that's the other reason why. The Boston I'd rather keep just because it says Boston and that's the capital of my state. And it's not the most powerful fan for what it is. The wake one in the back is something I'd rather keep because of how often, because it's not often you sit find them. That blue Panasonic I actually could bring in, but one of the places is messed up, but I'd rather try to keep all the look of the fans all be, be the same color and such. The Galaxy behind it, the brown one I actually made my room a while back. That I'd, is one of my first fans, collector wise, as a for portables. When I baby started collecting, so I'd rather keep that near. That standing in the back, that would be a good one, but it's just so big. And how often you find them in 16 inches and in gray. So that's another reason why I don't want to bring that. The blue wake wood is below there, and the neck got busted on it, but that's another one I don't want to bring. The Honeywell. Right here, I don't want to bring because it's too loud. And it would only really do anything on the floor. This one is the one I'm bringing with me, the one I got many years ago, back in 2015. And that's already at the house, so I don't need to grab it from here. This home's there, high velocity fan. For obvious reasons, I'm not bringing that up too loud, etc. This Aries fan right here, it's my grandmother's side, and it's not going to really do anything there. Yeah, my wise. This Holmes box fan is rare as a, a four blader. And such this um what is it? Windmere nine inch that's fan like that one I could bring but I remember it needs oil and it's a neat little nine inch fan that I'd rather keep out of a school setting. Or it's one that I the only fan I'm bringing that's for my grandma's is because I know that's not gonna get damaged there. It's very really solid. Same thing with the Wakewood, and it's also the Wakewood's already in somewhat rough shape anyway, so. So, yeah, so that's why I'm not bringing any of these ones except for the homes that could end up going their way to, but probably not just because it is a little bit wilder and such, and I'd rather try to keep quiet fans in the room better and such, so. Yeah, if I'm going to get down from here, then I'll go ahead and reveal the Lakewood. Oh, yeah, and before I reveal the Lakewood, the other one that's right here that I'm not bringing for very obvious reasons is the ab table fan from my grandmother's basement if it honestly this is one that i wouldn't mind bringing in if i was able to get a back portion for it because with the motor being like that exposed i obviously can't use that in the school but that is actually one i would bring to the school to be honest and i'd actually even swap out the lake one in place not the lake one the last code table fan for this just to give this one some use too but since I don't have a back to it. I cannot. I'm definitely not going to bring it to a school as that's not safe. Such for especially around students. 
if I can ever get a, a back to that from somebody in the Kota community, definitely let me know. Um, such. But, but I definitely, I do want to do some more vintage stuff in there. But I mean, I'm kind of pushed. But I mean, I already have the Windmere and the Wakewood. Uh, and the last gold table fan, those are vintage ones that we saw. So, uh, it's a pretty good amount of vintage ones, but, um, yeah. So, let me go ahead and actually reveal the wake one now, and then I'll pick it up from there. Alright, so I got everything put back into the storage unit. So, I'm going to go ahead and lock it up, and then bring these fans home. And, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video here. So, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.